everyone. I'm Adam Brown, and this is Shell Point Today for Monday, March 7th. On today's show, we will get a preview from Robin Church about the creative nail art class coming tomorrow. The annual library fun drive kicks off Wednesday, and Beth Crenshaw will give us more information about that. And Heather Batty speaks with Linda Rakos about how to stay current in nutrition. But first, a little reminder about two academy classes happening tomorrow. Tides and Currents is a lecture Christy Anders, Education Director for Sanibel Captiva Conservation Foundation, will present tomorrow about waves, tides, and currents, and how they are affected and how they affect us. The class begins at 10 a.m. in the Grand Cypress Room for those who have signed up. Math and Society is a four-session class that begins tomorrow and runs through March 29th on Tuesdays. This course is great for those who may have experienced math anxiety and never thought math could be interesting or fun. There are no equations to solve, word problems, or fractions to simplify, and you can sign up for this class taught by Dick Brown, a mathematics instructor for 35 years who was awarded the Presidential Award for Excellence in Mathematics Teaching by George H.W. Bush. Each session takes place in the Manatee Room at 1.15 p.m. beginning tomorrow. Okay, so I just looked at the calendar and realized that this is the time of year that the most exciting activity of all begins, baseball. To kick off the excitement of enjoying peanuts, hot dogs, and watching America's favorite pastime, don't miss the spring training game between the Twins and Cardinals tomorrow afternoon. Court pickups begin on the island at 11.15 a.m. with the approximate return time of 5.30. The cost of the outing is $34, but the peanuts and popcorn is on your own. Make sure you're all signed up and then play ball. Wednesday evening at 7.15, there will be a celebration of worship and song at the Village Church. The Indiana Wesleyan University Concert Choir will be performing the finest level of ministry in choral music. You'll enjoy a diverse repertoire that includes sacred classics, hymns, spirituals, and contemporary compositions. Tickets for the concert are $10, and you can call the church office at 454-2147 for more information. Doing something creative can be a fun activity, and when it enhances your look and beauty, well, that's even more fun. Tomorrow's Health Connections class on creative nail art will give you the opportunity to tap into the fun as you learn to paint decorative designs on your fingernails. It can brighten up any look, pep up your mood, and accessorize your outfit. Here's Robin Church to give us more details. Hi, my name is Robin, and I'm the salon and spa manager here at Shell Point. And I'm just talking to you today to invite you to our creative nail art class. And it's sure to be a lot of fun. We'll learn how to paint some great designs. Uh, one class we did music notes on someone who is very musical. And if you're not very creative, then we have some stickers or we have some little things that can be applied to the nail with some glue. So there's something for everyone and it's a lot of fun. It's a smaller class and so we have a lot of fun. Lots of laughs and there's something for everyone. Hope to see you there. Thanks. Bye-bye. It's time once again for the annual library fun drive. The library's primary commitment is to meet the personal reading, listening, viewing, and daily newspaper needs of Shell Point residents. It's self-sustaining and depends on contributions during this annual event to keep the library up to date with complete resources to meet the needs of our community. To give us more insight, volunteer coordinator Beth Crenshaw speaks now with the library's president and vice president. Hello Shell Point, my name is Beth Crenshaw. I am the volunteer coordinator here with Resort Services. Today we are at the Shell Point Library. I am joined by two of the main players here at the library. I've got Fran Ippinson, the president of the library, and Mary Richard, vice president of the library. And Mary is also the chairperson for the annual library fund drive. Fran, can you tell us a little bit more about the library, maybe some history and some facts? Um, the library was formed 44 years ago, and we have in the library 8,000 items that are available for the residents of Shell Point. And as far as we know, we have the largest library of any resident facility in the country. And we also have available a variety of items. We have large print, 
and regular print books. We have CDs, DVDs, audio books, and even some children's books. The library is open seven days a week from Monday through Saturday. It's open from 9.30 to 3.30, and on Sunday it's open from 2 to 4. All volunteers, even the librarian, is a volunteer. I also want to comment on where we're located for newcomers to the Shell Point Library. We are located in the Resident Activity Center on the island, on the main floor, um, near the Osprey Room, near the Library Lounge, and the, actually we're over the Health Center. So that's where we can be found the seven days a week. We have, um, once a month, there's a book talk which is run by, headed by one of the, our residents who, who uh, donates, offers their time to describe the book. And there's always refreshments after that, a library book talk. We have uh, other services. So, um, we have a website on Shell Point website. It's you go under the info tab and then it will scroll down to library and you'll see what, uh, if you're looking for a particular book, if we have it or not. We have many services. Probably the funnest service is that we have candy at the checkout desk in the main library. Uh, that seems to be a very popular thing. I'm sure it be is. Besides that, on a more literary note, um, you can reserve, you can call us at the library to reserve or renew an item. You don't have to come in to do it. Um, we call you when your a book is available for pickup. We have back here uh, a library returns box that where you can drop off your items in the hours uh, during the time that the library is not open, which is very convenient for you. Um, if you have guests staying at the guest house, they can get a card from the guest house desk and, and take uh, books out of the library. And if your visitors are little kids, we have a quite an extensive children's section of the library. So there's a little bit, uh, there's a lot for everyone. We have a monthly, um, notice that comes out in the weekly reminder and is available on the, the library desk of the new acquisitions that we made for that month. So there's a lot of new things going on and keeping you up to date. I might make a comment about the new acquisitions. We get 60 new items in every month and items that we pull from the library because maybe they're not older or maybe they haven't been taken out very often are the items that go on our book sale. All right, so and you we, just had that in and we just in, had that in January. In January, and it was okay. quite successful. That's great. So, how does the library provide the residents with all of these wonderful resources? The library is totally funded by resident donations. It's totally staffed by residents, but totally funded by resident donations. And that brings us to the annual fund drive, which is happening uh, from March 9th to March 23rd, a two week span. Every resident will receive in their internal mailbox a um, letter that includes an envelope which you can use to return your contribution and you can drop those off uh, at either through your internal mail or at any of the service desks on the island or at the woodlands. Um, we even have a little, we will have a box here in the library too if you want to come to the library and um, drop it off there. Uh, your contribution is tax deductible and you will receive a written acknowledgement of that for tax purposes. So uh, every year, the residents have been so generous to keep this library going and active and current. So we're hoping that, we're trusting, we're believing that the residents will, will be just as generous this year as they have been in the past. Great, thank you so much, Mary. You're welcome. Do you have anything to add to that, Fran? I think Mary covered it very well. Okay, wonderful. Well, thank you so much, and we um, hope that you participate in the fun drive this year. This month is National Nutrition Month, and Linda Rakos is happy to help us stay current with nutrition. She will be presenting a Health Connections class that will address the new dietary guidelines for 2016 and how to eat a balanced diet. Linda will talk about making healthy choices and how proper nutrition fits in the LifeQuest program here at Shell Point. Linda discusses the class now with Heather Batty of Resort Services. Hi, I'm Heather Batty with Resort Services, and today I have our very one and only Linda Rakos. She is here to talk to me about uh, nutrition, 
March is actually National Nutrition yes, Month. it is. I'm glad you mentioned that, Heather. Yes. Well, it's something so, I've always paid attention to. Yeah. So that's why I'm very excited to be able to bring a discussion to Health Connections about staying current in nutrition. And what's even more current about it is that the 2015 Dietary Guidelines for Americans was just released in January. So come to this class and you'll get all the latest knowledge there is. So has a lot changed mm -hmm. in our guidelines for dietary? Well, through the years, uh, there's a long history to this. Back in the 80s is when uh, dietary guidelines began. And uh, initially they were designed for our government agencies to do things like make nutrition labels and have school program, school lunch type program standards. So, so it's really about the standards. And um, a few things have changed, but the most interesting thing that um, we're going to discuss at this particular session is that no longer are we just focusing on one particular nutrient that it's all about eating a balanced diet. So all things in moderation. Absolutely. So many mm -hmm. times we hear don't eat that mm -hmm. or don't eat that, but everything right. in moderation yes. is key. That's even it physical is. fitness. Yep. That's everything. That's right. So no longer is it uh, focused just on fat or sodium. Now, we don't recommend that people go out and sit down and eat a pound of bacon at a time because that has not changed. But sure. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to look at the big picture. So, right, yes. right. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. as um, the new guidelines mm -hmm. come out, do, are restaurants required mm -hmm. to use this information? I know we use it, but are other restaurants um, required to use this sort of thing? No, it's basically for the, uh, the American public. And um, really, the focus should then be on uh, professional educators. Mm -hmm. And um, it's really up to, to us, like people like me, being a registered uh, dietitian, nutritionist, to, to pass this along to uh, particularly just like here at Shell Point, mm -hmm. where we have our LifeQuest program. Yes. So that's one of the very important reasons that we have that program, because in that program, we try to set up some parameters and give some uh, assistance to our residents who really want to make those healthy choices. So Absolutely, mm -hmm. because it does mm -hmm. encompass our whole mm -hmm. entire body and being. Mm -hmm. So focusing just on the nutrition or just on the physical mm -hmm. or the emotional isn't as beneficial right. as putting it all together in our life quest. That is correct. And you are That's certainly correct. our educator mm -hmm. here mm -hmm. when it comes to nutrition. <laughs> yeah. So this Definitely. program is actually mm -hmm. called Stay Current in Nutrition. Yes, it is. So some of the things we're going to talk about are uh, the key messages. And um, we want everybody to know that that uh, the nutrition information that, that we pass along to our residents and the rest of the community are all uh, science-based. So we try to stay away from anything that's not uh, proven information. So sure. then we give the information to our residents and they can decide how they want to make their own choices. It's all about choices. That's perfect. <laughs> well, we don't want to give away too much about no, this program, we don't. <laughs> but it is Thursday, March 10th at 10:15 in the Social Center. It is a health connection program for March, which is National Nutrition Month, and the program is called Stay Current in Nutrition. Thank you. We hope to see you there and stay happy and healthy. And now it's time to take a look at today's happenings, Academy News, Menus, and Village Church Connections. Right after this, listening to the words preview from David Howenstein. What we eat and where we find it is the theme of this week's edition of Listening to the Words. From a Floridian who found, then lost, and finally refound the best guavas in the world, to a Maine resident who fed what she called the perfect self-forgetfulness by gathering the pentaroyal herb. 
And from a Fort Myers retiree's comparison of dining at the Ritz-Carlton in Naples to the value of a grilled cheese sandwich and Diet Coke. You'll be glad to savor both the simple and the succulent on this week's show. And it won't cost you a dime. I'm your reader host, David Howenstein, inviting you to listen to this 30-minute program all day and night at the top and again at the bottom of the hour on Shell Point Channel 12. Thanks to each of you for listening to the words. Hello and welcome to the happening segment of Shell Point TV. I'm Caitlin Van Scoy. And I'm Bev Chandley. And we're going to give you all of Monday's activities. We start the morning off with men's match play tennis at 8 o'clock at the Woodlands Tennis Courts. And from 8 to 5, the mobile mammography will be in front of the Village Church. We move to 845 for virtual bowling in the Resident Activity Center. And billiards will be played in the Resident Activity Center at 915. Also at 915, the Lollygaggers Paddlers will head out for their weekly outing from the kayak storage. Pottery with instruction available will be at 915 in the Pottery Studio. And men's match play tennis will occur at 10 o'clock at the Woodlands Tennis Courts. The Suzy Q heads out to Matanzas on the Bay. At 10 o'clock, you do need to sign up for that trip. At 10.15, the Parkinson's Enrichment Group will be gathering in the community room of King's Crown. 10.30 is the time for Disciple Men's Bible Study Group in the Woodlands Game Room. And then we move to 10.45 for a table tennis playing clinic that will be in the Island Tunnel. At 11.30, we have a Health Connections class, Agility and Flexibility, that will be in the Tarpon Room on the island that is currently full. Here's Bev to tell you all about our afternoon. Thank you, Caitlin. We're going to start with a 12 o'clock game of Mahjong. That will be in the Sable Room of the Woodlands. And Samba will be played at the Resident Activity Center at 1.15. Also at 1.15, we have the Tone Chimes going on in the Osprey Room on the island. Our model train room will be open for tours from 1.30 to 3.30. And we have a Health Connections class at 1.45, Balance and Mobility for Beginners. That's in the Tarpon Room on the islands. Currently, that's full. The Beady-Eyed Bead Club will be in the Oak Room at 2 o'clock. At 2.15, we have the Shell Point Singers sectional rehearsals, Sopranos and Altos, in the Choir Room of the Village Church, and the Tenors and Basses in the Hospitality Room at the Village Church. 3 o'clock is a Health Connections class, Pilates Stretch in the Tarpon Room on the island. 3.15, we have Ageless Creativity Workshop. That's in the Osprey Room on the island. Our Shell Point Singers Rehearsal will be in the Choir Room at 3.15. And the Singles Table will be ready at the Crystal Dining Room at 5 o'clock if you're interested. And we have a 6.30 Beginner's Square Dancing going on in the Tarpon Room on the island. And we have a 6.30 duplicate bridge game. This one's at the game room of the Woodlands. The Chicago Brass Quintet will be playing at the Village Church. You need a ticket for that concert. It starts at 7.30. Also at 7.30, we have our last activity of the day, square dancing in the Tarpon Room, and currently that's full. Well, it's sure nice to see you here today, and we will see you back here again tomorrow. Hello, I'm Terry Kolath with your Academy information from Monday, March 7th. At 8.30, we have the AARP Smart Driver course beginning in the Grand Cypress Room of the Woodlands. Sign up is required. At 10.15, an iPad class, Calendar. This will be starting in the Manatee Room on the island and sign up is required. At 10.30, Anatomy of Words meets in the Oak Room of the Woodlands and they welcome all word lovers. At 1.15, Basic iPad will take place in the Technology Teaching Center on the island. I'd like to tell you about our new classes we have coming up tomorrow. We have Christy Anders, from the Education Director from the Sanibel Captiva Conservation Foundation. Her topic this semester is Tides and Currents. We also have an iPhone class, the Six Apple Stores. This is with Bruce Findlay of Sundial. Russ Cray of Oakmont will bring us tips and shortcuts for the serious computer user. And Dick Brown of Parkwood will teach math in society. Menus for Monday. In the crystal room, the crystal platter is marinated pork tenderloin with mixed vegetables and baked sweet potato. The dinner special is the old home cooking night for 
And the soup of the day is tomato. In the Island Cafe for lunch, the special is a turkey BLT with fries for seven seventy five. The dinner special is grilled shrimp over citrus almond salad for eight seventy five. And the Palm Grill is closed on Mondays. All menus are available twenty four hours a day at www.shellpoint.net. Hi, Randy Woods, and here it is, the first of March, and we are looking forward to spring break because that means that the college students are coming our way. Obviously, that has some challenges to do with traffic and waiting in line at the restaurant, but on the positive side, that means that the young people are coming to Shell Point. And right away here early in March on the 9th, Wednesday, March 9th, we will welcome the students with all the energy and zeal of youth, the students of the Indiana Wesleyan University Chorale. This 70-plus voice choral ensemble is going to be a wonderful presentation that you will not want to miss. The choir comes as part of our Season of Praise concert series, and tickets are available here at the church, the night of the concert, or any time prior to the concert. So I hope that you'll get your tickets. Dr. Todd Guy continues to direct this choir, and it's an outstanding university choir with the 70 voices of students from music majors as well as non-music majors, but they have a very rigorous audition process to get in this choir. So it's quite the select group of singers. As they have sung in previous years, they've had the privilege to perform throughout Europe and the United States, and it will be a special treat for us to have them back here at Shell Point as part of our Season of Praise concert. So the concert will be on Wednesday evening, March 9th at 7.15. I trust you'll get your tickets. They're just $10 and to be available here at the church uh, during the regular business hours or prior to the concert that night. But join with us as the students come for spring break. Let's encourage them to celebrate as you'll hear a variety of selections from the traditional classical sacred repertoire to arrangements of hymns, gospel spirituals, and contemporary songs. They are exceptional group of students with an amazing sound, a wonderful presentation of fine choral music. That's the Indiana Wesleyan University Chorale. Join us as they come on Wednesday, March 9th, here at the Village Church at 7.15 p.m. I look forward to seeing you there. Thanks for joining us for today's program. Tune in again tomorrow when we'll learn about the Sanibel Big Arts Concert Band performing this Friday. And Diane Morton will give us the details on a new green bus route here at Shell Point. Until then, this has been Shell Point Today for Monday, March 7th. I'm Adam Brown wishing you a great rest of your day.